For more, let's go to Southampton. Uh, Daniel Devine is a fellow in comparative politics at St. Hillas College uh, University of Oxford. Thank you for speaking with us here on France 24. Thanks for the invite. Uh, uh, where to begin? I, you know, I, we so badly wanted to hear the, uh, the prime minister that when I saw the archive footage, I thought it was live images. Um, what do you make of it? There she is sitting next to Jeremy Hunt now, who's the one fielding the questions. Yeah, I think it's, I mean, it's certainly a problem for her in that there's been all this discussion. Essentially, she's um, lost a bit of authority, well, lost quite a lot of authority with having to remove um, her previous chancellor, which she tied herself quite closely to in terms of policy, um, and has then chosen a, a, a chancellor who has essentially undone everything she's previously done. And on top of that, she's then sent, as you, you previously said, Penny Morden, um, who's arguably or potentially vying to um, become the next prime minister. Um, she sent her out um, to field some difficult questions. So then sitting next to Jeremy Hunt instead of answering these questions does make her look a little bit um, like the time might be over already um, for her time in office. But we'll see. Uh, the the uh, unofficial, if you will, leader of the backbenchers, the one who makes uh, decides on the rules, uh, she's set to meet with him. Uh, what are the possible scenarios? Um, so one of the issues is that she can't actually face a call, uh, a vote of no confidence. So the backbenchers can't actually remove her um, officially. What could happen is that they change the rules. Um, so she's technically safe for a year. Um, but they could potentially change the rules to allow a vote of no confidence, but more likely she'll be told that, you know, there's very little support and it's bad for the party and to hopefully um, uh, to step down of her own, for, for, of her own accord instead of being removed, um, having to change the rules to do so. I think, you know, that's probably the most likely scenario. Trust certainly came, she came to uh, power or the, the position of prime minister um, on a very low on a very low amount of support from the backbenchers anyway. Um, she she was less popular than Rishi Sunak. She just won amongst the, the members of the party rather than the, the backbenchers. So there's not much support there to begin with. And now there's, you know, almost certainly uh, less than there was then. Daniel Devine, we're talking about a nation that's now had uh, four prime ministers in five years. Why? Um, so, that, I mean, that's a good question. I think there's some question. There's a lot of long term forces working here. And I feel what the likely uh, out or the likely cause of this is essentially you've got a conservative party that's trying to um, sit on an electoral alignment um, that Boris Johnson uh, maneuvered towards, essentially, of um, sort of conservative a little c on culture but actually kind of quite left on economics um which is not a ne not necessarily a comfortable position for the conservative party and then you have trust which essentially kind of backlash against that um who went to the other extreme um at least economically and so the, the likely reason is you end up in this position is that you've had um, well, you've got a party which is essentially divided um, with different factions working against each other. Um, and then, obviously, Quartings uh, and now Jeremy Hunt's uh, is much more an immediate um, cost of uh, at least the previous chancellor going too, too quick um, with the mini budget. Brexit has been described, Daniel, as sometimes, and this is an oversimplification, as a, ha, the, that referendum as being uh, the, the genesis of it being uh, a school a schoolboy and schoolgirl argument uh, uh, among uh, fellow classmates at the institution where you teach Oxford, is there been any where you are any calling into question as to the way politics is taught? Yours is the institution that breeds the future leaders of the United Kingdom. Um, yeah, no, I don't. I don't think so. Um, at least in not uh, in uh, my media role, there's been sort of no um, discussion about how politics is taught. I don't think that's necessarily um, a problem with um, uh, the degree or the or the institution. Um, it's it's got broader problems about um, the selection into the House of Commons and things like that. I would say. It's more to do with what the Conservative Party, or is it a broader problem even than that? 
Um, like I said, I think these things have long term. Um, these have long term causes. I don't think you know we could simplify it to saying it's essentially um, a degree which uh, leads people to uh, these types of um, uh, this types of this type of chaos. Um, I certainly think these are, like I said, much more um, deeper issues about the positions that the different parties are trying to take on economic and cultural issues, which might not, um, which might not uh, fit very well with the party. You know, it's beyond the uh, degree or um, uh, the type of background of politicians, and also more things about our electoral system forcing two parties into coalitions they would not necessarily be in naturally. Daniel Devine, thank you so much for speaking with us from Southampton. I want to thank as well Philip Terrell from our International Affairs Desk.